Let me share with you one of the greatest success stories of environment negotiations ever. Indeed, it may be one of the greatest success stories of any sort of negotiations on this planet. In our long history, there is one unprecedented act of humanity in which every country on Earth came together to protect the future of life on Earth. The Montreal Protocol. The story of the Montreal Protocol is in some ways also the story of the 20th century. Something that was a great invention, namely a chemical chlorofluorocarbon, had unintended consequences that suddenly became a planetary problem. It all began with a good idea. In the 1920s, coolants in refrigerators were so toxic that a leak could kill you. So we invented safer chemicals to do the job, CFCs. The wonder chemicals of the 20th century. They were so versatile, people's lives were transformed. But in 1974, Sherwood Rowland and Mario Molina predicted that the Earth's natural sun shield, the ozone layer, was being eaten by CFCs at a terrifying rate. We felt a great responsibility to actually warn society that something could happen. All eyes turned to the ozone layer. And sure enough, there was an enormous hole in the stratosphere. It was such a shocking revelation over half the ozone layer destroyed above Antarctica in a decade. If the destruction wasn't stopped, we'd be at risk from lethal levels of UV radiation. We'd be in dead trouble. We'll have a blind, burnt population. Faced with this global threat, the world came together to take action. And in 1987, more than 30 countries agreed to phase out the production of CFCs and signed the Montreal Protocol. Over the three decades since, the rest of the world's nations have signed up. Together, they've taken on the greatest planetary repair job ever attempted. It's absolutely terrifying to work on a project that's so important because you know that failure is not an option. Making the Montreal Protocol a success has taken brilliant minds. We are working to protect human life. It has taken determination. It has made more progress than any other environmental convention in the world. If the countries of the world engaged in similar deliberations for every issue that faces our world, I would be very happy. And it has taken ingenuity from an extraordinary global community. We always have our disagreement, and at the end of the day, we have our agreement. And it has worked. With CFC's band, the ozone hole is healing. Now it's time to take action again. You need passion, you need leadership to change the Montreal Protocol into an even better treaty. Victory is within our grasp. There's only one herd. We have only one herd to protect. We cannot lose this one. Once more, we must come together to protect the future of our planet. To you, the delegates, and as somebody who considers himself part of the Montreal Protocol family, as you meet in Gigali, look to history. Remember where the Montreal Protocol started off from, and please help the world to take the next step. There is need for everybody to compromise, but sometimes out of small steps towards one another, big things can happen. And you, as a family of the Montreal Protocol, have demonstrated that time and time again.